there are no pet signs plastered all over Harry Marcus's Gowanus Cafe, a rule he and many other establishments in New York strictly enforce unless it's a service dog. Totally 100% legit, then why not? But if you try and lie about it, you'll get kicked out. They need to go right outside with their dogs. According to state laws, pets like therapy dogs and emotional support animals are not allowed in public spaces unless it says otherwise. But Renee Payne says it could sometimes be hard to enforce. You can't ask me what my disability is. That's against the law. So the only thing you can ask me is what he's trained to do. The dog trainer says there are three ways to certify an animal. A service dog helps a person with disability like blindness and is welcome in all public places. A therapy dog is trained to provide affection and comfort to people in places like hospitals. And an emotional support animal helps a person with a mental health or emotional condition. Emotional support animals cannot be kicked out of housing and they cannot be kicked off of an airplane. Payne says out of ignorance, people sometimes take advantage. Recently, a woman was kicked off a plane for bringing on what she calls an emotional support squirrel, going against the airline's strict no rodent rule. Then there are people who buy fake emotional support tags online. I tend to value honesty, so I, I personally wouldn't do it. If somebody's going to fake it, that's a little rude. The president of the local chapter of the National Federation of the Blind says, when people do this, it reduces credibility for the owners of animals that help them every day. They are an important tool in our toolbox. And a tool they want to be taken seriously. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Now, currently, there is no way of tracking how many service dogs are out there, so lawmakers say that they can't tell really who is lying about it.